Did you hear this about Daniel Rodimer? So I, I know you will have probably never met Daniel Rodimer. He was a guy who was on Tough Enough 4. But did you read the story? I did read the story. So, I, um, yeah. Does anybody else know the story? Well, That's I'll read it to you. I'll read I'll read the basis to you and, and chime in. Uh, former Tough Enough Season 4 contestant Daniel Rodimer, who made a few appearances on WWE Heat, was being sought for murder over the death of 47-year-old Christopher Tapp after an alleged altercation inside a room at a resort in Las Vegas that saw Tapp suffer fatal blunt force trauma to the head. So this occurred back in October 29, 2023. So it was originally thought it was an accident. It's been made obvious that there was no accident. This was a fight. And apparently Rodimer, who was a former Republican uh, congressional candidate for Las Vegas and nearly won it, apparently. Uh, he also did one in Texas where it was a complete flop. Uh, punched the guy, uh, hit his head as he fell back, and then kept, kept on punching him. So basically punched him into a coma, and then he died from it after Christopher Tapp had offered his stepdaughter cocaine. Mm -hmm. And he just went completely off on the guy. And the, uh, the irony is, is that Christopher Tapp had just got out of prison after, after 20 years for a murder that he didn't commit. And he ended up getting something like eight figures, essentially, after suing... Uh, successfully for more compensation for it. But yeah, this Rodimer and fella. His name is Rodimer. Yes. Right? D uh, yes, Daniel Daniel Rodimer, I don't, yeah. I've never heard of him. I never, you know, when I'm not actively involved in wrestling, I really don't watch the show. I really don't. So the Rodimer, even on Tough Enough or whatever, I never watched that show. I just never got caught up in it. I had other things to do, like, you know, I was in Puerto Rico a lot of times and, I had I had beer drinking to do, so I would go and take take care of that first. But uh, I have no recollection of him at all, and even while he was there, and I'm sorry it happened, but he's in there, and if he was offering the daughter cocaine, and he got upset, well, I can I can understand that, I can empathize with that. When he hit the guy, and the guy fell down, I heard he hit his head on something else. He was knocked out, but then he climbed on top. I heard it's alleged. We got to use keep using that word. It's alleged that he, he just started punching him over and over, and so he ends up punching him into a, a death. So now he's and where did this happen? Vegas. Vegas, apparently. Yeah. Uh, just so you know, Rodman. I mean, he basically had no main roster experience apart from a couple of appearances on heat the only funny thing is is that he was like six foot seven 300 pound almost you know considered to be a future star he was actually going to be booked to debut on the main roster with edge and randy orton and being like mm -hmm. a top tier team straight from the off so they had huge plans for him and essentially they offered him a uh, development contract for like fifty thousand dollars and he went well no I've, I've i'm already making 200 grand a year he had some like really high flying job and then, and then Vince actually went back to him and said, look, we'll offer you so-and-so just to train with this. So he was almost giving the Brock Lesnar treatment. And then he quit again because he just didn't want to do it. So I don't blame him. If you're not happy doing what you're doing, then do something else. I do respect him for that because a lot of guys, yeah, and I'm sure there's a lot of guys whose main goal is to get to WWE. Apparently his goal wasn't to get to WWE, but it was offered to him anyway. And he and he turned it down. This <clears throat> man isn't isn't used to that getting turned down, but he did so. And and I hope I, I think he'll get some jail time out of this, even though he didn't yeah. mean to do it. He could have probably been drinking, but still, if you if you do it, you got to suffer the consequences. Whether you and I'm sure he didn't mean to do it, because he was he was mad and, but hey, that's life. There's uh, a number of uh, assault charges that he was arrested for, but never um, convicted for as well. So I don't, I don't know what was going on there. But anyway, how old was so, his, as I say, how old was his daughter? 16? Well, he was four. Well, he was forty-five, so she would have been pretty young. So uh, I don't have a, an age on the stepdaughter, unfortunately. So uh, anyway. I was just going to say this, you know, between Vince McMahon and then Billy Jack Haynes and then Daniel Rodimer, I mean, quite wrestling <laughs> and tripping over themselves to be the biggest shit back in the business at oh the moment. It's crazy. I, 